Hey guys, what's up? It's Ben, Cardboard Icons. I just went to the post office and picked up my package from checkoutmycards.com. Uh, I think it's the first time I've filmed one of these mail days, so to say. I kind of have mixed feelings on the whole mail day thing, but I think I have like 150 cards in this package, maybe 125. Um, I really don't have time to scan everything and show it off, so I'm just going to open it on video. 90% um, of this stuff is new to me. Some of it is uh, stuff I sent in and then decided I wanted to keep. So, anyway, let's go ahead and open it. There's a good mix of old and new in this box. Should be anyway. Um, bought a lot of chrome autos. Some good, some just kind of filler, I guess you could say, for my collection. Um, some good vintage stuff in here too. Right, let's go ahead and open this. Had a couple things shipped. Uh, have some graded stuff and only had like one or two cards put in top loaders. But everything else, I, I did standard shipping, so I think everything should be in penny sleeves. And if you ask me, I think it's worth it. I've done the the bulk shipping before, but really don't like that my chrome autographs could be sitting in a box without any protection and I really don't want to pay 20 cents per card again to have them put in the sleeves. Anyway, okay, so here we go. Got stuff here in the bubble wrap. These are obviously graded and probably a couple cards in, card, or top letters, excuse me. Let's, we'll start with the small box. I don't know if they're in any particular order. Yeah, as you can see, they've all got penny sleeves. Makes me happy. All right, we'll just start back here pick up somewhere. All right. Max Kepler. Uh, I believe that's 2010 if I remember correctly. It's a auto prospect. Fred Whitfield 63 rookie card. 83 tops traded. Yep. Tony Phillips rookie. 59 tops Ray Webster rookie. 61 Ty Klein rookie. It's a uh, Dave Winfield autograph. I'm kind of starting to pick up on my Hall of Fame autographs again. It's a 97 Bowman Chrome Travis Lee rookie refractor. I bought it because I wanted this card so bad back in 97. Couldn't afford it, but for a dollar I can now. Here's a, uh, yeah, I wish that was real. This is one of the uh, reprints, I forget. This is 95 Wagner Estate reprint. I think I paid 50 cents for that. Cool card. All right, just be forewarned, there should be uh, oh, a dozen or so Elite cards in here. I'm working on the set. Uh, this is 93 Paul Molitor Elite. It's a 2008 Playoff Contenders Andrew Libel autograph. I think these are limited to like 250, 280, something like that. This is a cool relic card. It's a uh, triple relic, triple swatch relic. Thurman Munson, number 93 of 99. Three stripes, three pieces. And as you can see, the center piece here and these, this piece here, sorry, this piece over here, there's some, um, looks like some needlework that was done there. Maybe there was a patch there. Who knows? Pretty cool. I think I paid $19.99 for that. I hit it right when it hit. It, it popped up and it was there for about 10 seconds before I bought it. Anyway, cool card. Very cool card. There's a 2009, I want to say. Nah, maybe it's 2010, I forget. That's 2011. I'm off. Anyway, um, Tyler Anderson, Chrome Refractor Auto. It's a Nelson Rodriguez Refractor USA Auto, numbered out of 417. It's a Josh Reddick, now with the Oakland A's. Uh, I think I paid $750 for that. Pretty good, right before he got hot. I mean, he's not blazing hot, but hot enough where it would have cost me more than seven fifty to get it. It's a 2004 SP Top Prospects John Bowker autograph. I live in the San Francisco Bay Area. This was a very, very hot card about three years ago. I think they were hitting about $40. I think I paid four for that just based on novelty aspect alone. It's a 68 Tops Mike Marshall rookie. Robbie Grossman, 09. Bowman Chrome Auto, Kevin Matthews, 2011, Bowman Chrome Auto, 94 Ultra Mike Matheny Rookie Card, can't believe I didn't own one of these before, but I do now, 
and he's giving me the thumbs up, as you can see. So, uh, Jordi Cabrera, Chrome Auto, DJ LeMahieu, Chrome Auto, Zach Cox, Chrome Auto, 2002, I think it's 2002, no, maybe it's 05, I forget, it's 05, excuse me, 2005, Tops Total, Dan Ugla, rookie, that's his real rookie card, not the 06 rookie logo card, it's, uh, Earl Williams, <laughs> oh my god, Earl Weaver, excuse me, I'm sorry, um, this will go well with my jersey, I found at the thrift store, cool card, Scott Cousins, Chrome Auto. Taylor Jungman, Chrome Auto. Caleb Cowart, Chrome Auto. And there's a giant thumbprint on the Chrome card. I'm going to try to clean that off later with the tissue. Steve Carlton, on card, auto. Non serial numbered. Cool card. I think I paid $10 for that. It's always a good day when you get a really solid Hall of Fame autograph for like $10. There's a Alex Avila rookie card, his real rookie card. 62, Jack Baldshin, rookie card. Addison Reed, Chrome Auto. Brett Laurie, Topps Heritage rookie. It's a 93, Elite Series Juan Gonzalez. Number data, 10,000. 92, Dwight Gooden, Elite Series. 92, Howard Johnson, Elite Series. 51, Bowman, Mickey Grasso, rookie. 49, Bowman, Lou Brissy rookie. Love this card. Cool card. 2002, Donders Elite. Adam LaRoche, rookie. I think this card still books at 50. I got it for 5 bucks. That was the cheapest they've been on. Check out my cards. Uh, David Bromberg, Chrome Auto. JD Martinez, Chrome Auto. Refractor. Burt Campanaris, rookie. That's a nice looking rookie card. A little soft on the corners, but not so bad. Pretty nice. Here's my Burt Blylevin rookie. That's a really nice one. I gotta check it out a little better later. Make sure it has been recolored. I don't see any evidence of it being recolored. That's good. Well, I can't tell. Maybe it has been. I'll look at it closer later. Justin Masterson. 2006 Bowman Chrome Refractor. 2004 Bowman Chrome, no, 2003, Bowman Chrome Refractor, Aaron Hill, rookie. It's a 08 Contenders, Andrew Walker, autograph. Let me move this stack over here, put it back in the box so I don't drop it. It's a 2010 Chris Sale Chrome Auto. 2009, no, 2008, Elite Mark Sobolewski, Auto. 2005, Garrett Jones, Rookie Auto, Elite. 2007, uh, Bowman Sterling, Travis Snyder. Didn't have any, he was in 06, but didn't have any autographs. There's an 05, Bowman Chrome, Refractor, Jeff Neiman, Auto Rookie. Numbered out of 500. So, oh, I think it's 81. Yeah, 81, Pawtucket, Wade Boggs, minor league card. And that card is beautiful. Might have to send that in. That is centered very nicely. Love that card. So, uh, it's 05, Bowman's Best. Yeah, 05, Bowman's Best. Refractor, Raul Abanez, rookie. 93, Elite, Dave Winfield. This is... Uh, I think these were a giveaway somewhere, but this is the uh, 2009 World Series Tops Tommy Bahama card, numbered out of 1900. Basically has a swatch of this special shirt that they made. There are a lot of them out there. A ton of them are single color swatches, but this is kind of cool. Multicolored, part of the design, obviously. Here's 2010 Elite. Aspirations, number out of the 100, Cito Culver, auto. 2004, Honors, Ramon Ramirez, auto. 86, Tops, Jerry Rice, rookie card. Only had one of these in my life. 
This is number two. Much better than the first one I had. Jason Kipnis, 2010 Bowman Chrome Auto. Jordan Sheffield, USA Auto Refractor. Chad Bradley, Chrome Auto. Kenyon Walker, Chrome Auto. Jim Belton, 99, I think. Yeah, 2000, excuse me. 2000 Greats of the Game Auto. Here's a uh, Frank Thomas, USA, 1990. Pretty cool card. It's a Niger Morgan, Chrome, oh, not Chrome, excuse me. SP Authentic, Auto Rookie, quote unquote, Rookie. 2004, he was actually his rookie card. That'll work though. KV is Samson, Chrome Auto Refractor. Brad Boxberger, Chrome Auto Refractor. Schaefer Hall, Chrome Auto. Clayton Kershaw, 2011 Topps Diamond Die Cut. Cool card. Kent Mathis, Chrome, or not Chrome, Elite Auto. Keep saying Chrome. CJ Cron, Chrome Auto. Larry Green, Chrome Auto. 2010, Eric Hosmer, that's 2011, excuse me. Eric Hosmer, Pro Debut. James Harris, Refractor Auto, Chrome. Riley Unrow, Chrome Auto Refractor. Raleigh Fingers, Greats of the Game, Auto. Dennis Eckersley, Auto. Lou Brock, Auto. Blake Snell, Chrome Auto. Jake Floth, Elite Extra Edition, Auto. Casey Lawrence, Elite Extradition Auto. Cole Green, Elite Extradition Edition Auto. Bob Scahill, Elite Auto, numbered out of 50. It's a Heath Bell rookie card, 2005, 40 cents. It's a Tony Oliva Auto. Okay, that's the first box. Uh, I got a little bigger box coming up here. That seems like a lot, it's because it is. I do a lot of re repurposing, repurchasing on the website. Uh, here are a lot of cards in top loaders. I don't recall asking for that many top loaders, so I do appreciate the uh, stuff. All right, now we got some cool stuff going on here. All right, flag patch card. That is a game used flag patch. From Blake Forsyth's hat. Four of them were made on various parts of the hat. I'm sure some were inside. There's one on the back. I'm sure there's one on the side. Anyway, four flag patches per player. It's Blake Forsyth. So there's another flag patch. This is Andy Wilkins. Uh, as you can see, the flags are a little different. It's uh, probably because the patches are from different locations on the hat. Uh, very cool cards. I, had, I didn't even know these existed until I saw them pop up on the website, and I had to have them. Actually, I actually have another one in my collection that I'll probably have sent to me here soon. Here's a 55 Topps Harry Aganis rookie card. This is a very beautiful rookie card. I got this for about 20 bucks. I think it books at 100 150 and the corners are sharp. That's going to have to get graded. There's a uh, 62 Tops Bob Euchre rookie card. Michael Pineda Tops Chrome Auto rookie. I actually picked this up after I, right after he got traded to the Yankees. I sold my 2011 Bowman Prospects Auto for 60 and grabbed this one for 25 and pocketed the extra 35. So that's a win. Here's a uh, Sandy Koufax. Diamond die cut from the website. Very cool card. Very tough card to trade for in that, on that site. This card's got moved around a little bit in the shipment. Here's a Dayan Betances, 2007 Bowman Chrome Auto. Actually got him through the mail on a basic Bowman Prospects card that year, but Chrome's beautiful. 
Yeah, here's 93, no, 92. Elite Kirby Puckett, number out of 10,000. 52 tops, Billy Martin rookie card. Very cool card. Paid 50 for this on the site, which is pretty good condition. Um, there were maybe four or five of them up there. They were all over $100. Card books at 500 so C1 priced at 10% a book is perfect. Perfect for me. There's a 93 Elite Barry Larkin. 2005 Bowman Chrome Refractor Brett Gardner, which got shipped between top loaders. Here's 2000 Greats of the Game Bob Feller Auto. I love this set. I, there's no way I could afford it back in the day. I got really lucky and pulled a Nolan Ryan. I actually called my shot on that. I bought three packs in front of my friend. I told him, I'm going to pull a Nolan Ryan. Pulled a Nolan Ryan. Anyway, Bob Feller. He signed a lot when he was alive, but this is a beautiful card. Had to have it. Jerickson Profar, Chrome Auto. Got paid 40 for this, which was not on par in terms of eBay. But I think they were between 40 and 50 at the time, but... I think it was the only one that popped up on the site, so I had to have it. It was a card I actually sent in and by accident sent it. Alvin Powell, 39, play ball rookie card. Here's a Albert Pujols, minor league rookie card. Two th well, minor league card, not his rookie. It's 2000. Uh, his rookies are 2001. There's a Archie Bradley, Chrome Auto. Bobby Doerr. Tops Gallery. Yeah, Tops Gallery. Auto. I actually pulled that from a pack. Sent it in and decided to have it at home with me. It's uh, Peter Gammons. It's a cool card. Bought this maybe two years ago. I think I got it for 20 or 25. Sent it in decided to keep it keep it at home. It's a uh, 98 Bowman Chrome. Bowman 50th Anniversary Refractor. Marcus Nash. Numbered out of 5 actually pulled this from a pack, walked into the store, and there was a guy there, he was busting a lot of stuff, he was busting this stuff, left and right, packs for $5 a pack, and he, he probably plowed through five or six boxes, I walked in, pulled one pack off out of the box, and pulled this, he was not happy, I was, 92 Elite Series, Frank Thomas, great card, 92 Elite Series, Will Clark, 92 Elite Series, Joe Carter. It's a Bruce Suter Auto. I've been offered up to 40 on the site for this, and I just can't let it go. I think it's limited to 50 copies. Pretty cool. I pulled it out of a Value Blaster <laughs> at Walmart a couple years ago. Pretty awesome. It's a Harmon Killebrew Auto. That was obviously, a, it's a cut auto, but it was cut out of a Greats of the Game Auto from 05, I want to say. Maybe it's 04. Actually, it could be 03 or 02, whatever. Anyway, you get the point. There's a uh, Wade Boggs Auto Relic numbered out of 25. Pulled this from a pack during the early days of my blog. Um, I did a live break, but text only, no video. Uh, out of, it was the Hall of Fame edition of 2004. Tops Heritage, Tops Gallery, excuse me. Pulled that, pretty cool. It's a Luis Aparicio Auto Relic. Ted Williams uh, Relic. Pretty cool. Love this card. Very cool card. There's a uh, Hank Aaron Relic. I've had this for a couple of years. I bought this one because it's got the double, double uh, pinstripes. Don't see that too often. There's my... Roger Maris relic with the pinstripe. Willie McCovey auto relic numbered out of 30. I actually pulled this from a pack at Target when they had the uh, Greats of the Game boxes. They had the boxes for, I think, $29.99, which was, it was a full retail box. They were pre sealed. So I picked that up and pulled this. It's my Joe DiMaggio. Relic. Actually pulled this from a pack as well. 
I uh, pulled this about a week after I pulled my uh, Walter Johnson cut, cut auto from a 7-Eleven. Pulled that one from a uh, hobby shop at the mall. Pretty cool. Uh, Warren Spawn. Got that from a box, too. Same day I got the uh, Wade Boggs. It's my Willie May, or Willie May's Mickey Mantle Relic. Got this from the same shop I got the Joe DiMaggio from. This is also pack pulled, believe it or not. That is a uh, Yogi Berra Stadium Relic. That's part of the seat, as you can see, but it's got two shades of paint on it. It's white, and it's got the red chipping on top. That was pack pulled, so I know it's legit. Someone didn't just screw with it and put that in there. And this really cool Carlos Beltran double patch card I pulled from a box of 04 Hot Prospects. That's one of the coolest patch cards I've ever pulled. It's multiple colors from the Royals jersey and Astros jersey, which is kind of cool because I think part of Carlos Beltran's legacy is going to be his run with the Astros, which wasn't very long, but Astros obviously got very far in the playoffs that year. All right, last portion of this break. This is going to be the, uh, the graded stuff. I don't even remember what's in here. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. So, got a 2008 Chrome Prospects Refractor David Price. Eight and a half. I know the grade is kind of off-putting to some folks. The centering is off, as you can see, right to left. But I, I really don't mind it. Eight and a halfs don't bother me. I really like the Beckett graded cases anyway. I just assume that any raw chrome card I buy is going to be eight and a half anyway. So to pick one up, already slabbed. I think I paid 40 bucks for this, which was, I'd say, about 35% off of what the guy really wanted for it. So that's pretty good. Here's a uh, Garen Sacchini chrome auto refractor, nine and a half. I had a nine on the auto. And you can see very little streaking there on the uh, the C. Beckett's been pretty tough on the uh, autographs lately. I noticed a lot of um, Brett Lowry chrome autos on eBay that are just brutal. They're getting nines on the autos, and they look fine. Anyway, and last card is a 34 Gaudi Julius Salters rookie card, graded a 3. Paid fifteen dollars for this, and which is really good considering that one, grading costs more than fifteen dollars if you factor in shipping. Two, it's a Red Sox. Three, it's a rookie card, and it looks like it could be undergraded because it's pre pretty good. Anyway, my phone is falling over here. I guess that means it's time to go. Anyway, that was the last card. Thanks for watching, and look forward to talking to you guys later. Thank you.